Welcome, my fellow fume heads, to my favorite fragrance releases of 2016. Now I'm going to have one designer, one indie, and one niche. And when it comes to designers, my wife Amanda, she used to work for Sephora this year. She's recently changed her job to another beauty place, which also sells a lot of designer fragrances. So I'm in there getting my nose a lot on new releases. Which nothing a lot lately has overly surprised me and wowed me. But I was in there uh, before Christmas and I got my nose on something and I was like, damn Amanda, I really like this one. And lo and behold, for Christmas, she surprised me with it as one of my Christmas presents. So that was very nice. Thank you, darling. Uh, and the fragrance I'm talking about is John Vervedos Blue. And what this scent delivers basically is a lavender scent with a slight aquatic feel to it. Opens up with bergamot, has a touch of basil and geranium, has a cedar and pine backdrop, uh, adding a little more masculine feel with that soapy, fresh scent. And yes, I said soapy. It's got lavender in here. And sometimes lavender, for me, uh, could come off dense, heavy, cloying. I don't really enjoy it. Has that whole dryer sheet vibe thing going on. I mean, I want a little more out of my fragrance than just a dryer sheet kind of smell, if you know what I mean. And John Mervato, so the way that it uses uh, the lavender in here, uh, absolutely love it like this. I think it's a, a perfect choice for any man that wants to smell fresh and clean. Uh, and this one delivers, of course. It delivers positive feedback uh, very well, actually, for me. Uh, but people have to get closer. So this is a scent for those of you uh, that might like your fragrances not to be boisterous, like them more, a little more reserved, you know, but when people get up close to you, you know you still smell damn good. And that's what uh, John Barbados Blue delivers for me. Now, my indie pick for 2016 is none other than Hades Elixir by Dua Fragrances. Rockstar in a bottle is what I love to call this juice. What it reminds me of is Mad Dog 2020 red grape wine mixed with that resinous tarry hash, man. I love the scent because that hash is just so boisterous. It's just so loud. So if you're not a fan of the whole cannabis scent thing, uh, definitely stay away from this one. But if you are, you better check this one out because this stuff is glorious, man. <laughs> Absolutely love this scent where um, it's similar to Black of Gano by Nasamato for sure. But where that one lacks in the hash factor, you definitely get it out of Hades Elixir. Killer juice, man. And if you've seen this juice in person, <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. I've never seen. You thought Black of Gano from Nasamato was dark juice. Boy, you ain't seen dark juice until you've seen this stuff in person. This stuff is black like tar. Yeah. <laughs> I absolutely love that. Now, for my favorite niche release of 2016, uh, that would be Ombre Leather from Tom Ford. Ombre Leather 16 to me is just a magnificently sensual, smooth, billowy, soft leather. Just gorgeous. Uh, back with some greenery from Violet Leaf, a uh, touch of floral from Jasmine, and as this one dries down, this almost aquatic type vibe starts matching itself with the leather. Uh, th this fragrance just has this awesome softness about it. Incredible stuff. And I'm sure most of us out there are familiar with Tuscan leather. And that fragrance is kind of like a clubbing scent. In your face, balls to the walls, macho, let's get the party started. This one uh, takes a turn more for the reserve side of the tracks, which I've really grown to appreciate in time. My love for this fragrance just keeps growing. It's so beautifully done, man. Uh, it may not be loud and boisterous, uh, but for what it is and what it does, a scent like this should stay a little more reserved, you know, something more of a, a close quarter type of scent. Excellent juice, no doubt about that. So, uh, I hope you have enjoyed my list of picks for 2016. Uh, I'm sure there's probably a lot that I've missed, especially in the designer realm. If there's something you can think of I need to get my nose on, Make sure you share with me down below and also share with me your picks for 2016. What is your favorite designer, indie, and niche slash luxury designer? 
<laughs> type of scent out there. Uh, but that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed. Take care, and we'll see you soon.